Ah, uh, yeah, it's pre-coffee Keith, cause my coffee's too hot to drink. <laughs> so, it might be a bit before I can awkwardly drink it in the middle of a conversation, then you hear the sound of me setting down a coffee cup on a table that is attached to the microphone, and it'll be a little knocking noise, and then you'll know. You'll know the time has come! Ow! Shit! Fuck! Fuck you! Dick? Dick? Stop! Shit! Rude! What you doing? What you doing? Wrong answer! The right answer was forget I exist- Ow! Go away! <laughs> Yum yums. Fill me up. Gonna be honest. Feeling a little aimless right now. Let's review our quest log a little bit. <laughs> uh, I've had a clear idea of where to go until now, but at the moment I'm actually a little unclear. My only main quest is to find Athena at the AID command. Gateway Bravo. We've heard of Gateway Bravo before. All right, I should, uh... We can do other things too, but... In the meantime, I should take a little visit to this place. I can go... Oh, the floor is lava. I need to turn in my... Ow! Growing list of audio logs anyway. Because you get rewards. And that's nice. And then maybe there'll be a status quo change around here, because um, most of the characters we've seen here have died, I feel like. Like, we wiped out a lot of the hunters. And also Eli. <laughs> so I'm not really sure what's left here. I guess I haven't technically killed the leader of the hunters. She doesn't seem to be here, though. I thought she might be, like, here and mad at me. Was Rome built in a day? All right. Did they even know in here that he died recently? Is that... I didn't imagine that. There is a World of Warcraft quest giver explanation, exclamation point over her head. Alright. <laughs> Just wanted to be sure that I wasn't fucking inventing that with my brain because I've been broken by that game to just see certain signs everywhere. But no. It's definitely there. Oh, uh, he totally did run off to save her, didn't he? Oh. Maybe I'll like find him later when I get the grappling hook. So he's gone. And there wasn't anyone in the bottom right corner, right? Oh, there's some hunters here. I don't- I feel like those two weren't there before. Yeah, nobody would- there was one guy here for a bit, I think, and he's gone. I think the only NPC left in this entire area is you. That's it. This place is gutted. Completely gutted. But you're still here, buddy! I guess you're an NPC, technically. Kind of? Oh no. They drew a face on you. <laughs> Welcome back, killer! You have murdered two of Jericho's most notorious leaders. I would get in touch with my notary if I were you. So, how about sharing some information? Check my audio files. You have collected 50 audio files. Fuck. You have reached the final reward tier. Whoa. Nobody's ever gotten this far before. Enjoy listening. It's on the house. Whoa. I think last time we hit like 20. I made some progress. I've listened, I've li I've listened to video, uh, 50 audio logs. What's going on in Jericho? One second. Have you heard about the great Adli- Litter- Okay. Check. He doesn't- despite, I will update your records. Despite being like the source of information person, he doesn't really have much to tell us. But boy, I got a big old pile of tech scrap. 
Whoa, that's like a few boss fights worth of worth, worth, worth. Bots, bots fights? Fuck, I'm... <laughs> Call the bond villains, gong buns having a strong. Uh... Hello, 250 metal scrap. Well, that's some fucking scrap right there we got there. All right. No upgrades to buy, so... Zip. Zip. This is worth worthwhile trip. Holy crap. Ba-boom! 30, 29, 29. Got four batteries. Looks like I can get five eventually. And now I've got core slots for days. Wow. We actually have 14 slots right now. Uh, that's not nothing. <laughs> I can definitely equip something. Oh, yeah, let's get rid of Nanite Shatterer. That's just making me worse all the time. Wow, I, ah, uh, man. I had that equipped for a while after I should have had it taken off. I don't love this guy either. <clears throat> Whereas these guys are kind of like vital starting point skills. Ten percent more tech scrap. Kind of expensive. I mean, charging my current healing thing works. That's nice. 50 health for doing a finisher is much less good than just having a finisher give me... Is that... It's more expensive. I guess it's because it's not always that. But like, yeah, for the for seven core power, I get one pre-charge on my injectable. <clears throat> Which in this case means a healing item that does half my health. Whereas this one's nine core power to have a finishing sequence give me 50 health. That's, um, it's a downgrade for me. It's going to be a downgrade from my perspective. Increase the amount of energy gained through successful attacks. Yeah, actually, <laughs> that's good shit. That's one of the ones that I thought was cool a while ago and just didn't really have the chance to do... I might do prevent the decay of two batteries. That might be better than the other option. Killing an enemy grants stamina. It fits. It's 50 stamina. It's not a ton, but it's something. Increases energy gain by a small amount. Only 10%. Whenever a battery is filled. Kind of a feedback loop. Whenever you fill a battery, you get more energy gain for a bit. Even though it's only 10%. And some health, but it's not that good of either of them. And it's 18. <laughs> it's very expensive. This is the defense loss. There are so many of these. While the energy bar drains, gain health for you. That's the one that's like a tiny amount of health. Prevents the decay of one bar. Can I stack these? It doesn't fit right now anyway, but... Can, you, can I stack them to prevent the decay of three bars? Unclear. Make batteries last longer, but I'm looking for like a four right now. It's good to review them all, see if there's anything really vital I want to add, because there's just... <clears throat> there's so many of these that we have to like kind of continually remind ourselves of what the list even is. So we can know if we're missing anything big that I just didn't have space for at some point. Increased stamina regen whenever something fills is not the worst. Reduced rate at which the energy bar drains by 25%. It does fit, at least. Let's turn your batteries into ammo button. That's the slow heal. That's the antidote that I don't need outside of specific context, really. And there's like consumables. That's mostly it. Might as well just make the, the bar uh, drain slower. Useful during to like boss fights and so on. And if I'm just if I'm maintaining like proper momentum, I can just kind of keep the roll 
going as I go forward. <clears throat> and as I just kind of keep everything... If I keep my momentum going, then I can, like, reasonably... Just keep that bar full-ish. It is kind of like an incentive to keep making all your fights go back to back for a while instead of taking a break. Which is counter to... Where is gate 8? None of these waypoints look like gate 8. Oh, Bravo! I see Bravo. Wasn't it called Bravo 8? Gate Bravo? Fuck. There's a Bravo something up there. I'll review the objective real quick. Gateway Bravo. There you go. I don't... I don't know what I thought Gate 8 was. Maybe I'm thinking of Cloud 9? Hello. I don't think I've come out this door since I got that power. So that just links these two together. Gotcha, gotcha. One day I'll have the power to fly, but until then, I guess I'll just be a loser. I think I want to go this way. I'm trying to get to Gateway Bravo, which is on the maps. There we go. This nice, peaceful, quiet place. Oh. <laughs> We're a happy family. We're a happy family. We're a happy family. Me, mom, and dad. Alright. This this will be quieter than the irritating drone room uh, where I get these audio logs in the first place. That makes me not want to listen to them there because there's like drone noises and whatnot. Yeah, we're just done with him. I'm surprised. Like, it felt like a campaign long progression system, but uh, we're out of we're out of we're, we're, we're dude, we don't seem to be out of game, but we're out of him. But uh, that yeah, he was like the last remaining reason to go there besides the one merchant that doesn't seem to have much to sell me. So I guess we're I guess we're, I guess we're just done with that town zone. Let's see here. I've seen all the vision ones. You see those in person. Where are my new ones? These guys, right? I think these are it. So, Creo Guide, Gideon Rocks. Welcome to Gideon's Rock, Jericho City Worker number N-335895C. You are now eligible to take a break from your daily responsibilities and enjoy nature's beauty. Powered by Creo's and Virotech infrastructure system. Our purified air, partially organic trees, and cuddly animatronic critters are even better than the real thing used to be. But remember, spend your city-mandated leisure credits wisely. The City Council will not reimburse your time in case of dissatisfaction. City-mandated leisure credits will not be reimbursed. They say they won't be reimbursed in case of dissatisfaction. But it's a bummer if the actual place was dissatisfying, like they chose the thing you would have liked to do, and hexagons! It's sci-fi, so there's hexagons! Anyway. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just fucking deranged, apparently. Uh, thanks for all the fish. Welcome to Gideon's Pond. In 2057, our patron, Jonah Gutenberg, donated hundreds of exotic, genetically enhanced fish to our park. Look at them frolicking around in their natural habitat. It's a picture to die for, isn't it? Gideon's Rock, where Mother Nature takes a vacation. The monster is coming. Did you hide the key card for the others? Of course I did. Like a real pro. I've heard that one before. Have I heard the other ones before too? I think I might have. I got, like, dumped with new audio logs, but I don't know which ones they were. Was it these? Oh, the pod shot returns. I 
I think it's these bottom ones. So, outtakes, we've heard that one. The pod shot returns. One, two, three, and four. Yeah. This is Podshot, back from the dead for another season of film news, reviews, and gossip straight from the horse's mouth. Hi there. I'm your host, Dr. Phoenix Q. Rishbotter. This year, I'll be dedicating the show to my favorite film series, Iron Mouse. <laughs> now, let's start with the first and best entry in an increasingly desperate string of box office disasters. To me, one thing was clear from the initial frame. This movie is literally perfect. Apart from the writing, and the score, and the lighting, and the props. And the list goes on. But the worst offender by far is the so-called acting. I mean, seriously, guys. Kyle Baxter as Iron Mouse? Who had the brilliant idea to cast this flabby old ham as a rodent of all things? This film is the cinematic equivalent of mouse droppings. Small, grimy, and leaves a bad aftertaste. Blech. And on that note, see you next week for my review of Iron Mouse 2. Would not subscribe. Very vague, disappointing review that says basically nothing. Also, straight from the horse's mouse. Mouth. Mouse. I mean, this is the misspeaking today. Uh, day. This is where we are. Uh, is it YMS? Is it he identifies as a horse? Hi, everybody! This is Podshot, your favorite source for Iron Mouse gossip news and reviews. This week, I'll be taking a little break from reviewing. Instead, let's have a little Q&A session about something more stimulating. My fan fiction. Ha-ha! <laughs> now, I've heard a lot of criticism about the so-called plot holes or gaps in logic. So let me just say one thing to you nitpickers. Get off my damn back! Maybe I knew about all of your so-called flaws. Maybe I actually hid clever little references and sly allusions throughout the dialogue. Hmm? Ever thought about that? That's what they call subtlety, goddammit! Now, of course, you'd actually have to pay attention to spot the details, and if you didn't spot them, well, maybe you weren't worth the effort anyway. Why should I, of all people, go out of my way to cater to cretins? Either way, I won, and you lost, because you've already read my story. <laughs> oh boy, we're doing this, huh? The whole thing where people get frustrated by... It, it's, it, it's always like the impulse to give into your like this the this the creatives they always they're always tempted to give into this like darker impulse to just mock all criticism as a concept by having a critic character in their media that themselves embodies a lot of the, like, the stereotypes that they direct towards said criticism and so on like the uh like in this case we have the strangeness that is a we have the specific detail of a character that, like, shits on other people's work, but actually they just wanted to be a creator all the time, the whole time. So, like, they're they're just doing there's critics because they can't create well. Like, look at the look at his embarrassing fan fiction. Let's point and laugh, and it's just like, mm hmm, mm hmm. It's like when the uh, M Night Shyamalan had a critic character that he then murdered in Lady in the Water. It's like, wow, this is a little on the nose, isn't it? And this concludes another episode of Podshot. No doubt about it, Iron Mouse 4 was the worst one yet. I wouldn't touch this piece of rodent waste with a 10-foot pole. Up next, a message from our sponsors. Now available on Holodisc and Neural Implants, Iron Mouse 4, the best, most exciting Iron Mouse movie so far. Relive Iron Mouse's high-speed sewer chase of the Rodent King. Experience the forbidden romance between Rusty Rat and Carbon Cat. Enjoy every scene over and over again. Iron Mouse 4 is more than just a movie. Oh, yeah. It's an instant classic. Oh, and always remember, don't trust the reviews. <laughs> the war. That's how Jeff Gersman got fired. He, uh... His, uh, GameSpot had a... Big... 
marketing campaign for it was Kane Lynch or Kane Lynch Two Dog Days or something, and then he reviewed the game and gave it a score of like a six or something, and he was promptly fired. Uh, which bummer, but also then we got Giant Bomb, so I guess it's kind of a win all around. Hi everybody, welcome back. This is Podshot, your favorite source for Iron Mouse gossip, news, and reviews. Breaking news hot off the press. Earlier today, movie production company Neuroflix replaced Iron Mouse actor Kyle Baxter with an AI robot. The robot will play Iron Mouse in all future movie productions and even record new actors' commentaries for all eight films starring Kyle Baxter. Now, some of you may remember my, uh very public feud with Mr. Baxter. Some of you probably expect me to gloat now. <laughs> so let me just say this. Who has the last laugh now? <laughs> Not Kyle Baxter, that's for sure. You just gotta love this technological revolution. They could replace anyone now, even podcast hosts. Uh, they, they wouldn't do that, would they? They could. In fact, uh, there are AI-driven content farms on YouTube and on Twitter and Instagram and places and so on that just kind of amalgamate shit automatically, and a lot of them do relatively well. That said, they can't really replace you on your own podcast, it's assuming you don't work for like a company or something that controls whether or not you get to run your own podcast, which uh, is possible. That definitely exists. But unless it's like something that has like the level of like editing and production value and budget of like something like NPR or whatever, like the NPR and WNYC type podcasts, uh, generally speaking, a podcast is just such a fucking like zero budget, zero cast thing you just do from the ground up that it'd be weird to have it be out of your hands in the first place. Deep resentment. Get out of our sewers, Mortimer. What? I built these sewers with my own sweat and blood, Gov. Damn tunnels connect the entire city. And now, now I'm not even allowed to. We've heard that one before. Why don't. These are organized confusingly, or something's up. It's like hard to tell which ones are new or something. Or like they're intermixed with each other. It's like, I think the pod shots are new, but then Deep Resentment's listed after them, and that one's not new. I don't know. There's an issue I have in general with a lot of games, and how they handle, like, their codex or other things, where they have a little marker that shows what's quote-unquote new, but it vanishes the moment you so much as highlight that icon. Which is like a terrible way to do feed, uh, interface feedback, in part because, look at this, I have to scroll to the top of the screen and then blindly scroll into the next thing in order to continue. That's the only way to scroll around. So that means you instantly lose the marker saying that the thing is unread the moment you get there, if it just happens to be where your icon goes, and then you will have never seen the notification. But like, what, like, it should be like email. Like, I, I have this issue, issue with, like, Mass Effect and Dragon Age 2, where it's like... Yeah, I shouldn't be afraid to browse this menu, but for fear of, like, marking everything as red that's listed along the way. Death Stranding did this, too. Like, it should be marked as red when I click on it. And for that matter, if I've already listened to it, it shouldn't be marked as unread in the first place. So don't mark all the ones I've already listened to before as new. It's just, I don't know, it's just... It's, I've seen almost no games do this in a usable way where it wouldn't be frustrating for whoever's trying to actually keep track of what they've listened to and haven't listened to before, which is weird. We did it! <coughs> this goddamn clink. But what about the warden? That's the guy in the sewer. So is this not the category of quest lo of audio logs that are given to me by the vending machine? I don't see like a vending machine icon anywhere. What are these icons? So that's... So this is down- I guess these are location-based, right? So that's downtown. And this is the port, because it's got like the crane-looking thing. And this is Gideon Rock. That's 
something else. Alexi's report about a patient. Medical report number TS2. The patient you brought me some weeks ago is still in coma. Cannot determine if she's infected. Sirs, I am just level one doctor in a police detention facility, but I do not recommend transport, not yet. So she, if that was the guy I, that I killed earlier, then he knew who I was already. I think I've read that one. Because, like, the outtakes are here, and Ready for Action is here. I think I got this one for getting to the first med bay, but I think this one, the outtakes, that was a reward from uh, the audio log guy. And I guess it was just pod shot one, two, three, four were also rewards, but they're mixed in with prison break in and deep resentment. I don't know. This <laughs> this menu is a bit of a mess. But not the, I guess they just didn't make a category for that guy, so it's confusing trying to keep track of where your rewards are. Especially when you do what I did and you, you turn in three tiers at once, so you have like a lot of rewards, then you and you don't you can't really trust the interface. To like really, really accurately report them all in one go. So you kind of just open the interface and try to look for them. And that's where things go bad. Do I have a med? Yeah, I have a med bay right here. Let's see. So one of my objectives is to make the whole construction set for the aid workers. So I should probably farm that now before I go further. Aid nightfall. I have leg and chest. Do I have any other aid right now? No. Let's assume it's, it's let's assume I can find aid and nightfall people around here and try to get their head and arm schematics. Oh yeah, that's aid and nightfall right there. Ow. It's rude. Ow. Other guy's shield is blocking my attacks. Unhelpful. Ah. Chop. Nope, just chop him. Arm gear coils. It's not a recipe. Nope, missed that. Fuck! So I get for looking down at my healing, my health bar. Ah, shit. Don't seem to be taking this very well. Ah, fuck. Man, you really can't land a lot of attacks. A little weird. She's vulnerable for a very, 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 very long time. Leg. Oopsie. She looks vulnerable for a very long time, but she's not? Like, she's on the ground, laying there, but you only get to get one attack in, and then you completely stop being able to fight her anymore. It's just kind of weird. All of your, your follow-up attacks bounce off of her, because she has, like, just a mountain of iframes, apparently. Or she's just kind of invulnerable after one hit. I could definitely do with, like, I don't think it exists. I could do with, like, an icon that tells me which chunks of my current enemy are unresearched, because it's kind of tough to identify what armor set they're wearing in the first place on the fly. Obviously, that guy wasn't, uh, aid Nightfall, because he, uh, he was wearing, like, the yellow Bumblebee outfit. But, like, I don't think anyone really has an encyclopedic memory of every single gathered recipe they have in the entire game that they are then updating on the fly perfectly. 
So it kind of help. It can be kind of handy if I could tell on the fly which chunks I should cut for recipes. Because I, <laughs> the moment I leave the med kit, I'm immediately right back to guessing because I don't remember already. Ow. Uh, Arm off. What? All right, we both missed. <laughs> this was embarrassing for all of us, and we're bet it's best if we just don't forget it. There we go. Chips and soda. This path is thoroughly blocked off. Alright. Jump, please. There we go. Oh. <laughs> and then I got through without jumping. Alright. Weird. Yeah, so prevent the decay of two batteries only applies to batteries that you've actually successfully get to the head, get to the body. There we go. It only applies to batteries that are actually filled, as far as I can tell. Your 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 partial battery that is from the first few slots doesn't count. See, I've already lost track. I can't tell if these guys are wearing nightfall gear or not, but I also can't tell. I can't- I already lost track of which slots I needed to farm earlier. I'm too focused on how complicated combat is to remember exactly what I was in the field for a minute ago. Kind of just chopping a bunch of pieces. Liquidator. These guys have a completely different set. Yeah, I think the, the Nightfall people are wearing like... There's the front door. The Nightfall people are wearing, like, that one flak jacket or whatever. Like, riot gear chest piece. Have I been here before? Yes. It seems like this area is relatively low on on a uh, on aid people. So the the best strategy is probably just to use the uh, med center each time, and then just come out and fight the two guys at the gate, then go back. I think I already got one of the pieces though, if not both. It shouldn't take too long to finish this up. Then I can go back to Warren and tell him I got it. I got it. Spark, Aid, Eclipse, another Aid set. Shit. <laughs> I don't have any new Aid Nightfall pieces. So for Nightfall I need Head and Arm, but for Eclipse I need Head and Jacket. Was that there a second ago? I thought I'd just tried to see how many Aid sets I had and I don't remember that being there, but maybe it was. I don't know. It's hard to say, man. <laughs> There's a lot of moving parts. Let's get head and... fuck. Head and chest? Head and arm? Fuck, I already forgot. I... They don't have helms, God damn it! Is it randomized, or do these guys always not have helms? Oop, my stamina's gone. Nope. Ah, shit. Trying to manage my bars. Fuck. Got your torso. Haha, <laughs> got your torso. Ow. 
I did enough strong attacks to just delete her shield, apparently. And unlike the statues, she doesn't just get it back immediately. Okay, Eclipse Body Gear. Uh, yeah, it was- it was- I did need body and helm from these guys, right? Right, I can carry four of those. Now's the time to stock up, because my health will refill in a moment anyway. I need a helm. Ooh. Oh, those guys are both. Well, that's extra confusing. Oh, I know they're not. I looked at spark defense. No. So those guys are both probably aid eclipse, not nightfall. Even though I, I really thought I saw one of them wearing that chest piece. I guess that looks really similar, actually. <clears throat> they both have, like, the hanging cod piece flak zone or whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> the fucking bulletproof co uh, the bulletproof, uh, loincloth look. <laughs> Alright, so I, 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 need, I need a helm. Guys, please, just have a helm, please. Is this random? Is this random or not? It is random, okay. You've got a helm. Thank you. Ow. Ow. Oh, you don't have a shield now either. Oh, God. Those things are back. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Quickly, 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 quickly. Quickly. <laughs> I was right to not want to deal with those. Okay, new implant. When an enemy attack successfully directionally blocked damage is increased for a short time by only 10% though. That's kind of garbo. I accidentally healed leaving that menu. I pressed B once too many times, I guess. <clears throat> All right. So there we go. Alright, so we have a full set of Eclipse. No, we don't. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> there we go. Alright, now we can backtrack. So I can't go there because I don't have the zip line, so I need to go the long way through the tunnels. Alright, I have to go the long way around the tunnels. I can't go through them at all. Warren. I was born in a prison with no hope of escape. If you only experience this channel, uh, this game via my channel, then this is a callback that doesn't work because the game added custom soundtracks, which I then used because that song was copyright. I don't think it was going to get the videos blocked, but it was going to take the monetization of every single video where I ever visited a med bay in the entire playthrough, which, you know, when avoidable, maybe avoid. Is he going to whistle it each time I come back here? Let's all listen closely. Thank you for your help, motorcycle. So he, he also hums it. It's just stuck in his head all the time. He either hums it or he whistles it. What's funny is he wasn't even in a prison, whereas in the sequel, I actually was in a prison, fittingly. How's the AID patrol gear coming along? Got some AID gear for you. Great. Just pass me the missing gear pieces. Arm, arm, leg, leg, head, chest. 
Awesome. This should get me into the AID complex. I'll go to their evacuation hub and try to pass as one. Then I'll hack into their database and find out if they're really looking for a cure and why they took all those kids. If you're ever heading that way too, let's team up again. See you around. The atmospheric noise is getting loud. Loot chest. Pain enhancer. I don't think I want that. Increases damage received by 100%. Cool. No upsides. It's just a fuck, fuck this. I want a hurt upgrade for people that just hate themselves, I guess. <laughs> so you take double damage and you get minus 1000 defense, which I feel like might be like how much defense you can have ever. <laughs> Deflection damage enhancer. Yeah, seen that before. The stranger will get in touch with you soon. And now the icon's just straight up updated to a picture of Warren's face instead of the stranger icon it was before. Don't know where the missing flower is. I'm supposed to tag places. I don't remember if I tagged here yet. I should also tag down here while I'm here. We're waiting to encounter this guy in the place I'm still headed to. When we freed that guy, we, the next our next chance to see him was probably like the second half of the game, basically. Uh, spray can. Oops. Uh, boop boop. There we go. Just kind of sticking them around. So how many things did I get from him a minute ago? Helix of the Delver. Warren's well-used cutter. Doesn't really work as a reference because I never used it when I was Warren, really. I don't think that was my weapon style. Reaper's Testament. I think I got a helm? Yeah. Stranger's face mask. Is this one of those ones that just adds itself to... Yep, it counts as the helm that you can mix with any other set. It has two less defense than my current one. But better resistances to other things, like poison. That'd be my new appearance right there. This one's nuts because it looks like it's my own face being, like, split open. And then underneath it is another layer of my own face. Like, I'm tripped out by this mask. Like, does this set, does this suit look like your character no matter what? Or did I coincidentally happen to pick the playable character that the suit was modeled after in the first place? Just like, just that's just how it worked out or something. I'm not sure. All I know is it really looks like it's just her face. Like all the statues were just made after the exact character face that I chose. I'm not ready yet. Oh, it has a long cooldown. I guess I'll go upstairs. Can't remember if I marked downtown yet. Might as well just do it now while I'm thinking about it. Ah, get. Yeah. Nope. Uh, yep, there we go. Boop. Oh! Rude. Go away. So I've marked the sewers. I've marked Gideon's Rock. I've marked here. Huh. Ow. Hey, you can't go through here, can you? That's the real effectiveness of this barricade, is that if you go through if you go through the other side, there isn't an exit on that side. 
You just locked in here. Alright, so now the big question is, is there a way past this barricade that doesn't involve alarming it? Because I don't really want to fight the dog robot from the last game, if I can avoid it. But I get this, eh, this whole zone's probably full of them. Uh, we have enough to do this. All 30s. I don't love the charge-up attack, even though it's kind of what I'm good at. Although, I, I didn't really feel like it was getting that much stronger while I was charging it either, but I haven't tested it thoroughly with, like, data and spreadsheets and all that, so who knows. Is there any way past this gate? I don't know, I keep, I keep pressing map button like there's a map in this game. They let you jump past the gate last time, which makes me feel like it's possible. Because getting caught feels like a failure state. But I just don't see ways through. Maybe after your first big bum rush scary time, you can then hack it to turn it off like I did last time. That is funny to me that there's like this big security gate that stops you from proceeding forward towards this direction and they'll catch you if you come in but then past that point, it's just a giant wall anyway like instead of having a security gate that's guarded and everything they could have just had a wall seems pretty effective just block people from coming through entirely I, no matter how strong I get in this game I'll never be strong enough to defeat that wall ooh can I go under that? Hey, Jesus! I should, I should have remembered you were here, obviously. I didn't get to chop. Oh. I do too much damage to chop. I'm too lethal. Eh, I probably just have to fight my way through. Dick. Ooh. Off with your head. Nope, there it goes. Oh god, it's glitching out. Is her head okay? Or is her head a hologram? Oh. Yep, shit. Trying to manage my shit, and he had a follow-up attack. There you go. Follow up this. <laughs> I didn't even pick that up, 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 up that battery. One of the reasons I was distracted and took damage was I was trying to pick up that battery, and it apparently didn't do it right. <laughs> huh. Sub no. What? I mean, if you want to come down here and fight me, that's fewer people that come at me when the uh, when the alarm goes off in a minute. I'll take it. Ah, shields. Damn. When did I get scary? I feel like shields didn't crumple this easily. Oh, shit. That's not what I thought was going to happen. I think it's based on how strong you are, right? Like how much damage your weapon does or something? Because like the number of deflections I had to do against the, the uh, robot droid people kept going down. And now the shields are taking fewer hits to break. Like I remember doing charge up attacks against the shields before. And they didn't, they, they weren't breaking at all, let alone one hit. Robot! The robot is back! Oh, these guys were hard to fight. <laughs> yep. 
Yeah. Nope. Whee! Because you are armless. Armless now. That's a... This a new weapon? A heavy duty weapon. What? How did that even come out of him? <laughs> Would you like to be the slowest combatant in the history of games? Yeah. Two hundred and ten damage. Sword by yeah, tier. Ah, it's instantly tier f mark five. It's kind of neat. This one's faster and does more damage. So, huh? I could play with it a little bit. Out of curiosity. Yeah, so with that guy taken out, the only person that came after me was the robot. Simplifies things greatly. This does less damage than my other weapon does, which makes it which makes it disappointing. But that one does 25% energy gain. This one does 100% energy gain. That could be a bit of a deal break uh, in a game changer. Hello, robot. The gates. Ah! I can do whatever I want. Ow! Alright, this game- this gun feels- this weapon feels like such garbage! It's a- it is the slowest weapon ever. It feels- Horrible to use. Ow, oh, shit. Why can't I select limbs? There we go. I was just flailing the joystick around and could not get the icon to move at all, and I was like, what's- are you okay? <laughs> Somebody's out there just fucking shooting me, which is a dick move. Stop that. It is very dark in here. Is there like a floodlights upgrade in this game? Or just get like a massive light? Where's my disco ball helmet? I'll take it. Is this side a dead end? That part is. Oh! Darling. The guy over there. And that's the room I just saw him in. Surprise! Here comes my fun. Do 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 do. Oh, that didn't do. Sh that did nothing to him. What? What is this garbage ass weapon? Oh, I don't like it at all. That's unfortunate for him. I'm, I'm done with this. I don't I don't care if it has faster energy regen. It's so slow. And it does and like I did a fully charged that was a fully charged R2 to a, his back. And it did the, the tiniest piece of chip damage. Like what a joke what a joke weapon. Meanwhile, this one does just as much damage and attacks like this. 
Like, why would I ever bother? I saw him through that gate. Can I access anything unusual from being up here? Or did I just drop down for kind of no reason? Yeah, I'm just back where I started. And all I got was a chance to kill that one dude. Alright. Who put all this rubble inside of there? Why? Plant circuitry. Did I miss this somehow? I mean, no, nah, yeah, presum presumably it fell off of a guy I fought. What? Who's. Oh, that's a dude. That's a dude up there. So he, he must have patrolled through or something? Or saw me? I thought the gun respawned and I was confused. Where are you? There you are. Hey. Yeah. Oh, right, you can't change limbs when you're... Ah! Can't change limbs when you're blocking. Find an armored piece, damn it. There we go. Ow. Alright, he's, he's stuck running in place, and I'll take that chance to just win the fight by default. There we go. Much appreciated. Oh, Omni cells. Oh god, I've got 300 of them. I need it. No. Hi. Ow. Oh, oh, suddenly switched to shield. Well, that's that I've dealt with. <laughs> I don't care about your directional blocks. I can just go right out of the fight every time you swing at me. Which is faster, actually. As far as I can tell, I know it's hard to tell in the middle of a fight. You have to like do a replay or you know be a YouTube watcher uh, in order to like see what happens during the fight. But I often can't block incoming attacks. And I don't know if it's because there's just such a long animation delay between when you're able to raise your block up again after fighting, or if it's because fighting drains my stamina so much that I can't actually block attacks. But either way, my, the feedback I get for blocking is very negative in this game when I just try to block and only block in response to enemies. Meanwhile, dodging, whoop, pretty quick actually. And I can usually satisfyingly do it in the middle of a swing that I'm doing without having to worry about it, like, not working out for me. I gotta be like, whoop, dip, 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 whoop, and I'm out. So every time I see a directional indication that an attack's coming, I can just jump away. And that's usually, that's been more consistently effective than most other things. So if I think I can get the, the, the if I'm... Uh, how do I put this? The directional... So I, I basically just don't block in this game ever. I do directional counters, and when I do a directional counter, I only really ever do it when I'm specifically baiting it. And when I'm baiting it, I'm usually not reacting. I'm usually doing it on purpose. Just from the get-go, I'm like, I am specifically going to wait for them to attack, and I'm going to do a directional counter now. It's too ambiguous to just do as a reaction in the middle of fighting. And it's too hard to tell why you failed when you fail. Because it's just like, you have to look at several parts of the screen at once and all that. It's just a lot. But it's like, I, okay, that didn't work. Uh, did I have not enough stamina for the attack? How do I tell how much of my stamina bar the attack uses up when they hit me to know whether or not I could have blocked or not? Or like, ah, did I... Or was the timing wrong? And was the timing wrong because, like, I timed it wrong? Or was the timing wrong because I wasn't allowed to do it yet after my last attack? And it's like, you just don't get enough... In the moment feedback to clarify, so I've I'm kind of I kind of given up. 
So I dodge as a reaction and I counter when I'm specifically baiting it. And by baiting it, I mean I'm not attacking at all. I just walk into enemy attack range to be like, I will now counter you. And then I wait for the attack and I counter it. Like when I fight boss fights. Medical diary number 15, Dr. Sorensen. This goddamn evacuation has been progressing at a snail's pace. We need to treat everybody before it's too late, but the government is paralyzed. Of all the slurs I can think of, politician is by far the worst. Yesterday, the first wave of survivors was transferred to a camp outside Jericho City. I should have gone with them. I can't leave before I finish this hot mess of a job. My goddamn patients need me more than ever. Metaforce converter. <laughs> Metaforce converter. Uh, injectable uses one battery to convert damage dealt to health for a short amount of time. 20% health leech. Ooh. That's interesting. New hybridized innovation from Creo. The Metaforce converter is charged by rapidly occurring impacts. As in the case of a riot control a action which then releases a dose of rapid healing solution to the bloodstream. Hmm. That's, uh... That's fucking dystopian. Once again, I'm gonna point out it doesn't give you enough information. 20% health leech. Okay, how long? A short amount of time. What's a short amount of time to you? A minute? Three seconds? Like, how long do I get 20% health leech? Because that's really important. <laughs> you, you're trying to conf conf uh, con you're trying to uh, convince me this is more valuable than just directly healing, in order to justify its existence. But anyway, it's fucking dystopian because it's for riot suppression. And it's this idea that like the police will then will like equip themselves with stuff that specifically rewards them for being as violent as possible. Which is, um, not what police are supposed to be for.